I would just like to talk to you about some very basic guidelines while you are doing answer writing or you are attempting the paper. The first things first, read the question twice, you know. Question could be a long one, it might have its own subparts. So in order to cover everything, it's very important that you read the question properly and understand it. And maybe one time we are unable to get it. So please read the question twice. The second thing you can do is, uh, you can underline the uh, important keywords that you find in the answer. Now I used to just uh, read the question and underline some basic points which I felt were the focus of the answer or where I have to focus uh, a lot. I have to weave my answer around it. So I used to underline those keywords and that allowed me in my entire answer writing process. While you are reading the question, please also try and think about the structure of the answer. What the structure of your answer is going to be. See, uh, a very basic structure we all write is the introduction, body and conclusion. But even inside this, if you decide to divide the page, if you decide that you'll be covering one part earlier and the other later, try to make a mental uh, analysis of how you will structure the answer. Then you have to have the introduction and conclusion regardless of the answer. That goes without saying, you have to start with an answer. If you see, uh, uh, if you see the uh, paper, you'll find uh, there are two types of questions. One of 150 words and the other of 250 words. In the 150 words, that is a 10 marker, their introduction should be very crisp and short. Don't go into very much of details. Uh, but in the uh, question which has, uh, you know, you have the liberty of using 250 words, then you can somehow talk into a detail about introduction part. You can take a couple of lines, two to three lines there. So that way you can also adjust your introduction. Conclusion is a must, it is very important, you have to write a conclusion, uh, whatever you feel that sums up or you have some interesting point which you think could uh, enrich your answer. So you can add that to your uh, conclusion part. Uh, one thing before you uh, attempt the paper, you have to make sure that you have to attempt all questions. See uh, if we leave one question in the main examination, uh, there are 100 more people who will be ahead of us. If whatever we are writing, half page or some just a broad thing of what we know, you'll at least get some marks and it's about the fight of every mark. So um, decide this fact and know that you have to attempt all questions. Uh, there will be questions which uh, like I'll also tell you ki I had very less idea about but then I did weave my answer somehow uh, seeing some keyword kuch leke I tried to write that answer that has also to be that is to be done as well.